Joining me live now also from Ukraine is Masha Efrosinina. She's a well-known TV presenter and an honored ambassador of the UNFPA in Ukraine. She's also a social activist. Uh, uh, thank you very much, Masha, for being with us here on India Today. Uh, it's day eight of this invasion, Masha. We're seeing uh, Kherson apparently falling to Russian hands. We've just seen widespread destruction that has taken place in the city of Kharkiv. Uh, I don't know where you are, but how are you seeing things playing out right now? It seems that Putin is under greater pressure right now to try and take over as many cities as possible. Well, hello. Hello, everybody. Hello, my perfect uh, India. I remember all the times I visited you to have a rest. Um, um, uh, actually, uh, I don't know. I, I listened to Igor previously, and uh, what uh, I can tell uh, can tell about myself. I'm staying in Ukraine, but I'm hiding my children from danger because we live in Kyiv, and the Kyiv is under the great attack of Russian terrorists. I cannot tell that I cannot name them soldiers or army. This is uh, the real terrorism. This is the terrorism about animal one you, you know they don't stop uh, absolutely they kill uh, peaceful people our country is one of the most silent peaceful and hospital countries in the world ukrainians love everybody love each other we speak two languages russian and ukrainian we don't need to be saved uh, from anyone like this fucking terrorist is talking all over the world i we were sleeping uh, seven days ago 80 days ago i am we were sleeping calm and i was going to continue shooting my videos and my projects on tv while the bomb was um, the sound of bomb we heard this is the, the beginning of awful awful week we have so I'm hiding with my children. We, we left Kiev, of course, because it's under bombing. Mm. And uh, I cannot tell my correct place because I am uh, uh, streaming all over the world yes. all the time. I'm trying to uh, use my social media to uh, be heard by the Russians. Because as I see, this crazy, this crazy terrorist is uh, absolutely... Uh, 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 absolutely sick so i'm trying to use my russian auditory audience to be heard to come all over the squares to come to the streets only people can show their dictator they they don't need him um russia is becoming uh, the most terroristic country for the world. They will uh, suffer from this for 100 years. Now they can stop this. They are not... Uh, uh, they are not bad people, you know. I have a lot of friends there. My relatives, they live there. My sister is living in Moscow. Nobody can stop him except millions of people coming to the streets. Our cities are destroyed. Our beautiful places are destroyed. For now, in seven days, we already have the situation we should rebuild our country for years for years we lost everything we lost everything our works our money everything our our relatives our friends my uh, my friends are dying my friends are with a weapon now in the streets of kiev we need to stop this fucking sick dictator. Please help us do something. I can, Nobody can step. We can really understand your emotions and anger, uh, Masha. Uh, you know, we, we are with you. All of India is looking at you right now. All of India is hearing your voice right now. Your anger, your pain is, is something that is... Um, we're all watching right now. We're watching these extremely raw emotions and fear playing out. Uh, please permit me, please permit me to keep asking you questions. Is it okay if I keep asking you questions? Would you like a moment, Yes, of Marcia? course. Yeah, no, no, it's okay, it's okay. It was a hard night, bombing night. 
Tell us, Sorry. What, tell us what that night was like, Masha. Tell us. We want to know. We want to know what you're going through. The people want to know what you're uh, going through. Uh, in the most uh, cities of uh, Ukraine, you, you, you see this region, Kharkov, Melitopol, uh, Sumy, Kiev. Uh, people uh, nearly don't stay in their houses, in their f apartments. Uh, nearly everybody staying under the in undergrounds, uh, in metro stations. Uh, all the metro stations Guys, stopped... Uh, just use the... Uh, stop at, at, um, moving their trains because they all of them are transformed to shelters. People live there. Really, they live there. They brought their things there. They Somebody brought uh, children's beds there. Um, Volunteers bring them water and uh, uh, something to eat because it's really not safe even go to the street. Uh, I'm not talking only about army. A lot of, a lot of, a huge number of, uh, I don't know how to say them in English. I, I don't know these words. The people who were uh, not army form, they look like a usual people and they make this... Um, we call them diversanti, uh, and uh, they kill our people. It's 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 awful. It's awful. They put bombs into into uh, children toys. You know, they put bombs in the children toys and pull them the un, uh, to these shelters where people, women and the children are hiding with their children. They don't have anything sane in this world. They are animals. This is the real terrorism in the on the planet. You all over the world tell that, of course, we follow you, but we don't want the third world, worldwide war. It's time. Started. The third worldwide war started already. They don't leave a piece of our cities. Europe is the next. Why? Why they don't help us? Why nobody helps us? Why? With weapon, with people, with army. Our our army is not sleeping for eight days, for two hundred hours. Why is everybody is watching at us? What what for? Thirty eight million people were sleeping. What were, 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 were not doing anybody anything? Never. This is the most peaceful people in the world. You know Ukrainians. A lot of Ukrainians come to India. To your perfect Indian Ocean. Oh yeah. Yes, I know. I and I I have Ukrainian friends and neighbors here. Uh, you know, in India's capital, you've been to India many times. Uh, many, yeah. many Ukrainians come to India to live and work here as well. Uh, so I, 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 I know we, you know, our, our people have a have a, an amazing cultural exchange uh, with each other as well. I want to ask you, uh, Masha, how are you keeping your family safe? Families like yours, all over the all over Ukraine. Your biggest priority right now is safety. There are air raid sirens happening in different cities at this point of time. Uh, you know, nobody knows where the next strike could actually come from. How are you keeping your family safe? Uh, thousands of Ukrainians have gone into bomb shelters. Are you doing the same thing? Yeah, we uh, geographically we move far from this region of extra bombing right now. Mm -hmm. We we continue moving uh, far from this with children, and of course the bombing shelters are everywhere. Right. We find them everywhere. You can go just into the underground under the building, yes. and uh, as they say, this is this is safety, as they say. So that this is what we are doing. Just going under the in the ground, the building. My final question to you, uh, 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 Masha, because this is the second week. Second week of this invasion starts today. It's been eight days now uh, since it started last Thursday. Uh, there is a there is a there is a, a perspective that Putin is under much greater pressure right now because after seven days with Ukraine being able to defend itself mostly. Putin may be under greater pressure to create more damage. Is that something that you are seeing in Ukraine? 
Yes, we see the escalation of uh, his uh, his uh, orders. We don't see it's going down. It's uh, it's just uh, rises, and uh, it's it's very awful. It's scaring. We have today. We have, I think, the second round of uh, uh, meeting of both sides. Yes. The first round was about nothing, absolutely nothing, mm. and I don't believe they can find any high, a, a, anything. Uh, just to, they even don't stop bombing while these uh, meetings. You know, they 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 don't stop bombing while meetings. What is it? I, I don't believe he will stop. Only Gaga people or somebody of his close people can stop him, really. He's crazy. Not Russian people. He's crazy. Crazy. He's the real Hitler. What would you say right now to the people of Russia, to the people of India? The people of India are watching you. What would you say right now to the people of both these countries, Masha? My final question to you. As a journalist, I know that uh, there are two wars now. One I was talking about earlier, and the second uh, is information war. Uh, I have never, I have never seen so many materials, fake materials. Uh, when I see uh, what uh, what uh, Russian people watch on their television, this is this is another war. They see absolutely radically. Uh, uh, um, another picture that we have they don't see they don't see what we have here uh, they see that we are very happy to be safe here by them by occupants and uh, this is crazy i want indian people to support ukraine i want russian people to see the reality to see that they are going under uh, the uh, pressure of a person who hates people he hates people. He doesn't need you. He needs only his sick thoughts to be done. But Russian people can stop this by going out, going out and uh, striking against him. The more you will come, the more you will do. And Indian people, I please, I suggest pray for us, stay with us, stand with Ukraine and believe we are talking to you. There is no, um, there is no purpose there is no uh, logic or any argument to uh, russians to explain you what for we need to be destroyed by ourselves think about it this is crazy this is impossible we are people i have two children I, how can I destroy myself? I'm sitting in the middle of nowhere. I don't know if I return to my home. And they tell you that we are bombing ourselves. Please believe us. This is crazy. Masha, I hope you stay safe. We wish your country yeah, thank well. You. What we are doing here on India today is your voice is going out to millions. All Indians are watching Thank you, you right now. They're listening to you. You're doing your part as a presenter, a social activist as well. You are using your social media. You're being extremely brave. We share your emotions. War is a horrible thing. We will never, uh, we will never glorify it. India is a great friend of Ukraine. India is also a great friend of Russia. And therefore, I understand why you are appealing to Indians right now. Because there is a belief that India has the power maybe to influence what is going on right now as the world's largest democracy. I hope we can do that. I hope sense can prevail. And I certainly hope as little damage uh, you know, is, is going to happen over the next few weeks because this one week has been truly terrifying. I wish you and your family well. And thank you very much for thank being you. with us and sharing your words here on India Today. Thank that was you. That was uh, um, uh, Masha Efrosinina. She's a well-known TV presenter and a social activist in Ukraine. And we value voices like hers because they're giving us a picture of what's happening on the ground. You cannot replace it. You cannot uh, do better than to hear the voices of people on the ground. These are not politicians. These are not people with an axe to grind. These are people with genuine human emotions, with families, with bills to pay, with lives to lead. And their country is now suddenly at war.